Hello, good morning, good afternoon, or indeed good evening, depending on when you're watching. I'm Jen Dennis, the Jobs Guru, and today I'm going to be answering Brian's question about lunchtime trips to the pub. So, today's question is from Brian in Romford. Dear James, some of my workmates like to go down the pub at lunchtime and come back stinking of booze. We keep it quiet from the bosses, but I generally find that in the afternoons when they do this, I end up picking up more workload to compensate. Part of me thinks I should just start going with them to be one of the gang, and another thinks I should stop taking the flack for their tipsiness. Tipsiness, is that even a word? Yes, it must be. Is there anything wrong with what they're doing? Well, I guess so that's the question. That's fairly straightforward. So, I mean, Brian, in Rumford, you do find yourself in a rather difficult position. Let's see if I can help. The question, is there anything wrong with what they're doing? Of course there is. Um, their work is suffering because of it, and perhaps more to the point, your working life is being made harder because of it. Certainly, joining in with them and being one of the gang is one option, but I most definitely wouldn't advocate it. I'm not in favour of the, if you can't beat them, join them approach. Don't stoop to their level. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with going to the pub and having a few drinks, just not at lunchtime on a work day. Why should you pick up the slack and compensate for them? I'm not suggesting you go to the bosses about all this, but how about you just concentrate on your own workload, continue performing to the best of your ability, and let these colleagues worry about their own workload. You really shouldn't be suffering because of their unprofessional behaviour. We keep it quiet from the bosses, you say. Well, sooner or later, it's going to come out, and the bosses will deal with their behaviour. Just keep your own head down and get on with your job, and these colleagues will probably get what's coming to them soon enough. Viewer, how would you have approached the situation? Would you have followed my advice and kept it to yourself? Hit the like button. Or would you have joined them? Or even snitched on them? Leave a comment with your thoughts. A final word on the subject of alcohol at work. Alcohol and work should not be mixed for so many reasons, whether it's an initial interview, the day-to-day -day routine, or the office Christmas party. Um, not that we're likely to have many of those this year. Keep alcohol and work separate. Not only does alcohol impair your judgment, which is never a good idea when at work, but others will probably smell it on you, and that does not make for a good impression. There's also the legal aspect to it uh, take into consideration. If you are over the limits and at work and uh, uh, seem to be the cause of any kind of accident, then whether or not it was because of the alcohol in your bloodstream, you will most certainly be held liable, and with alcohol involved, may very likely end up being prosecuted as a result. Now, I'm always open to interesting new questions from my viewers. So if you have a workplace, jobs, careers, or employment-related question for me, then please do type it into that comment section below, and I may well feature it in a future episode of this show. And if I do, then one of my limited edition collector's item jobs guru coffee mugs will be yours. I know you want one. You know you want one. And now, Brian in Romford, well, he has one. Thank you for watching today. Keep safe and be well, my friends. Goodbye.